welcome to the second edition of the TNT Monthly Boom. It's the interview queen, Alicia Toot here, as seen on MLW and NotFest, and I'm delighted to be back as I'm here to tell you all about the upcoming TNT shows that you can attend. After last month's weekender of shows, TNT are back with another incredible weekend of action in Liverpool, UK. The first show of the weekend will be Saturday, August 28th for TNT Extreme Wrestling Summer Explosion and Hangar 34 with six matches and a bonus seventh match for any VIPs out there. Don't forget to get your VIP tickets now as you will get the chance to meet the likes of Clint Margera, Lizzie Evo, Lana Austin, LJ Cleary, and BT Gunn as well as getting to witness the one-on-one -on -one match between Aurora Tevez and Angel Hayes. At Siren's Fury, both of these women came up short in their respective matches, but they both left a lasting impression on the TNT audience and their opponents. At Summer Explosion, one will receive a tick in the winner's column, while the other will keep looking for that elusive victory. Now on to our main show as there is something for everyone in this pick and mix of matches. Let's begin with the Extreme Division Championship. At going off big time, Clint Margera managed to defeat three other men in an Extreme death match to become the champion, but since then, Big F and Joe has called Clint Vanilla. Well, the champ won't stand for that and put the challenge out to Big F and Joe and that has been accepted. Can Margera prove that he isn't the vanilla deathmatch wrestler Joe thinks he is? This will get bloody. Whoever leaves with the belt has the Queen of Extreme, Session Moth Martina, wrestling for them at Thrill Kill on September 25th. Next, we have the She-Wolves facing Lana, Austin, and Rio. At Siren's Fury, Lana called out the She-Wolves and nearly got beaten by Molly Spartan until Rio returned and put Casey Owens to sleep a ringside, which helped Lana defeat Spartan. Here's what Spartan and Owens had to say after the match. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Your pair clearly learned something from us. But you know what? See what you did out there? You think you got the advantage of us? You took advantage of... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 come back. So you know what, next month, how about, let's keep this simple, Lana Austin and Rio, the rejects, against... Casey, Casey, Kate. Casey, do you agree? The Molly Spartan, the She-Wolves, and we will show you just why we are the most dominant thing in TNT across the board. I'm, I'm, wait, wait a minute. We'll see you next month. Come on. But that's not all as Rio explained exactly why she returned to TNT. Last time I saw you, Molly, Casey, even Lana, you beat me down, you cut my braid, and you officially kicked me out of the she-wolves. You thought that was a great idea, didn't you? Well, I think tonight's proved what a mistake you've made. Now, whether I'm friends with Lana or not, doesn't matter. I told you, I will come for you. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Whether it's one by one, or at the same bloody time. Well, after all of this has been made official and the former She-Wolves, Alana Austin and Rio will take on the OG She-Wolves, Molly Spartan and Casey Owens. We have the return of LJ Cleary to TNT. This mischievous scamp is coming back to make himself heard, but he's got a big fight on his hands. Drilla Dan Maloney is standing in the way. The Drilla has already qualified for the TNT World Championship match at Cold Day in Hell and will be looking to continue his momentum leading up to it. If LJ can pull out a victory here, then perhaps he can make a case for being inserted into the championship match too. Speaking of championship qualifiers, we have our next one here as the longest reigning Extreme Division champion, BT Gunn, takes on the professional Nathan Cruz. Cruz is known for collecting belts all across the UK as one of the top heavyweights around. BT has already tasted TNT gold in the past. Who will qualify and join Dan Maloney at Cold Day in Hell? Keeping up with the different gold in TNT, the Kings of the North, Bonesaw and Corvin will yet again defend their TNT Tag Team Championships in an open challenge. The undefeated team have beaten everyone who has come across their path, so who will step up this time and try to wrench the belts from their hands? 
Finally, the blood feud continues. Lizzie Evo and Alexis Falcon stepped up their game at Siren's Fury in a brutal Falls Count Anywhere match. Alexis pinned Evo as well as made her tap out, but the referee didn't see it. Falcon was then caught by a huge knee strike from Evo and the title was retained. Afterwards, Falcon put out the challenge to one more match, two out of three falls. Evo accepted, so hear what she has to say, but beware, there is some extremely strong language coming from the champion. Lady, head up. Oh, actually, Tony, give me a minute. Yeah, sure. Just while I've got you here. Tony, I need your help. Thank you. Thank you. I've got too many belts, you see. Basically, Alexis Falcon took it upon herself to wait till I'd left the building to even mention a two out of three falls match at the next TNT show. So let me just tell you, Alexis Falcon, you're in my fucking city. You're in my town. You don't get to dictate what the fuck happens around here. That's for me to call the fucking shots. So I've got a problem with you and I'm gonna say it to you right the fuck now. Don't come into Liverpool thinking that you own the fucking place when I've proved time and time again that the money is right fucking here. So yeah, I'll give you your two out of three falls match just to prove that it's not a fluke and just to prove that you are a load of fucking shit. I'm the TNT Women's Champion, not you. Not one single person backstage will ever fucking change that. So I dare you to turn up to the two out of three falls and let me take your teeth clean out of your fucking mouth. Now get that out my fucking face. So there we have it, summer explosion, but the fun doesn't stop as TNT Ignition rolls into town the day after. August 29th, back in Fusion Nightclub, Ignition returns for all eyes on me. Just like Summer Explosion, you can upgrade your ticket to become a VIP and get added bonuses such as a ringside photo and meet and greets with Crash Boat, Gia Adams, MVK, and the Queen of Queens Visage. Not just that, you will also get to experience a match between two standouts from the Claude Training School. James Reed will stand against the violent gentleman, Tommy Jackson. At Outrage, Reed made his TNT debut by entering the Rumble, but unfortunately came up short. Jackson wasn't happy about being overlooked for this opportunity and wants to make a very violent point against Reed to make up for this. Which of these two men will stand tall with their hand raised at the end of this battle? The ever fun loving crash boats sail their way back to TNT Ignition at all eyes on me, but looking to put some holes in their sails are the returning new sick boys of Rory Coyle and Screwface. The lads from the Northeast are hard hitting and to be honest, incredibly menacing and not very fun loving at all. They are the literal opposite of Crash Boat's pop punk kid Jake Silver and Jack Bandicoot, who will come out on top in this tag team clash of different styles. At Siren's Fury, Gia Adams was pinned after Tonga turned against her. At Outrage, they eliminated each other from the Rumble. Tonga doesn't seem to be answering TNT's calls for a one-on-one -on -one match against Gia, so at all eyes on me, Adams wants to prove that she is ready to fight anyone and everyone, and she will certainly have her hands full as Lucy Sky is not someone you want to mess with. The master of the wigwam bam will be looking to make an impression on her ignition debut at the expense of Adams. Will the ghost of Tonga be too much for Adams to overcome? Will Sky continue to add to Gia's woes? Find out at all eyes on me. During the rumble at Outrage, MVK Valkabius made his TNT debut and made quite the impression with the fans in attendance. Also at Outrage, Scott Oberman, the current briefcase holder, managed to defeat Gene Money in singles action. At All Eyes On Me, the powerhouse MVK will get a chance to prove himself against the man who everyone has their eyes on, Oberman. Will Oberman manage to defeat the bigger man on his rise to claim the Ignition Championship, or will MVK continue to make statements at Ignition? Speaking of Rumble action, Chase Alexander finally got the shock of his life and Visage returned as the final entrant. After months of taunting, Visage finally made their presence known and eliminated themselves as well as Chase and brought all the way to the back. The fire from these two competitors will be strong as they go one-on-one -on -one at all eyes on me. Will the ring be able to contain their fury?
Something the ring may not be able to contain is the amount of muscles in our next match. Simon Miller has had issues with both Troy Ryan and Anderson Daniels for months, and it came to a head during the Ignition Rumble. Synergy had aligned themselves with Shreddy Breck during the Rumble, and Miller aligned himself with Claw standout Brian Adenson. Well, at all eyes on me, the Synergy lads and Shreddy will find themselves across the ring from Simon Miller, his very good and hench friend, Big Guns Joe and Brian Adenson. We're going to need to reinforce the ring for this one. Finally, Cameron Salas will get his one-on-one -on -one match for the TNT Ignition Championship. After winning the Ignition League last year and becoming the briefcase holder, Salas lost his opportunity when he lost the case to Scott Oberman, but he outlasted 19 other competitors and won the Ignition Rumble, which means he gets to take on Sonner Dursin. Will Salas finally win the big one, or will Sonner continue his two-year run with the title? Well, after the Rumble, things got a little heated. Take a look at what happens. I finally have won that match. I finally have a match for the title. Finally, a match cemented. I finally have that opportunity. Oh, God, finally. First of all, Cam, I just want to say congratulations. You are now officially the second best Rumble winner in TNT Ignition history. But if you really think you deserve this championship, well then you've got another thing coming. I am the most dominant champion in not just TNT Ignition, but TNT history. Two long years as champion. So if you think you're going to take this off me, then you've got another thing coming. Can I just remind you of one thing, lad? You won that belt at a Rumble, a Rumble I wasn't a part of. And I've just won the second Ignition Rumble. So need I remind you again, lad, see that belt? You've been carrying my title around for two years, and what are you gonna do about it? is what TNT have in store for you across this epic weekend. You can get your tickets if you visit Wrestling Travel or contact TNT Extreme Wrestling for more details. As always, you can visit Wrestle Merch Central to get all of the merch to support your favorite wrestlers over this weekend. If you want to get your own t-shirts and gear made up, then get in touch with Pins and Knuckles for all of your merchandising needs. If you want to be in a TNT ring yourself one day, then look up at the Claw Wrestling School. To catch up on all of the action from the previous shows to get ready for this event, Event, or if you simply want to chill back and watch, make sure you sign up to Powered 4 TV to access all the TNT shows on demand. This video was sponsored by Rammer Clobber, so make sure to go follow them on Facebook and Instagram. There are so many amazing shows and events on the horizon, so be sure to get those tickets now. Again, I'm the interview queen, Alicia Toot, and I am signing off on behalf of myself and TNT. This has been TNT Monthly Boom, and I cannot wait to see you all next month. Until then. Bye.